welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many C developers encounter. Our viewer asks, ISO C99 requires at least one argument for the in a variadic macro. Should using C11 and nice WNO variadic macros not fix this error or warning? Let's break this down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's address the issue with your variadic macro in C. The error you're encountering states that SO C99 requires at least one argument for the ellipsis in a variadic macro. You mentioned using the flags std equals c11 and nash w no variadic macros. However, the nash pedantic flag is causing the warning to persist. This flag enforces strict compliance with the C standard. To resolve this, you can either remove this pedantic flag or modify your macro definition. One elegant solution is to provide a default argument for the variadic macro. Alternatively, if you want to keep the pedantic flag, you can use a conditional check within your macro to handle cases with no additional arguments. Lastly, while using Pragma GCC system header can suppress the warning, it's generally better to adhere to standard practices for maintainability. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To address the requirement for at least one argument in a variadic macro in C99, you can define a debug print macro. This macro uses fprintf to output the file name, line number, and function name, followed by the variadic arguments. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.